I'm Ben from Automation Technology. Today we're going to look at and demonstrate one of ATI's linear pneumatic actuator packages. So this actuator is equipped with a digital valve controller that's designed to fail closed on loss of supply pressure and loss of electrical signals. This actuator package was designed for a controlled low valve application. Alright, so we got supply pressure about 4 bar and then we're going to run into a filter regulator. Alright, just to show you where we're at, the middle we have the supply pressure gauge and because the DVC actually doesn't have any power right now, our fail port's wide open. So we're actually piping air out of the fail port and in this case um, it's going to the top of the actuator. Alright, so part of the air is going to tee off from the regulator and be used as a pilot signal for the trip valve. Um, allowing that DVC to operate the actuator under normal conditions. So from the pilot signal line we're going to tee off and go through a check valve and this is actually going to pipe air into our reserve tank for us. So first thing we're going to do is uh, get this actuator open. So I've got a little uh, 4 to 20 milliamp loop signal. This isn't really the proper way to operate the DVC but just for the demo uh, we can get it to open and close. So. Uh, we we'll input a 20 milliamp signal and it'll switch the ports running air through the trip valve into the lower part of the cylinder making the actuator stroke up. So for the first test we're going to kill our signal to the DVC. This is simulating loss of electrical power. So. You can see our designated fill port will pressurize on the bottom and then the pressure gauge on the top it will start venting air. So in this case actuator will start closing. Alright, so for the last demonstration, we're going to show the actuator fail on complete loss of air supply. So, once we lose the air supply, um, we're going to lose our pilot signal to the trip valve. It's just going to let our isolated air fail system um, dump air on our designated uh, fail port. So, kill the air. It'll take a little while to vent. Um, once that trip point hits in the trip valve, Air should start moving pretty quick and we'll get our valve closed. Alright, so as you can see we have no air supply. Um, our actuator is closed. We failed it, uh, but we're maintaining pressure on the upper head of the actuator, keeping our valve closed tight. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to stop at our website, www.atiactuators.com. ATI offers a wide selection of products for any valve or power control application, from low pressure pneumatics to high pressure hydraulic, linear or rotary valve applications, with a wide variety of control packages to meet the most specific actuation needs. We also offer electrohydraulic power systems, gas over oil, direct gas, and many mechanical pipeline control products. ATI proudly engineers and manufactures every product in-house from start to finish here in Houston, Texas, USA.